there. So it goes open, two, three, and then open, two, three, and then open, three, or open, two, excuse me, and then open, two, and then open, one, three, open, two, three. Okay, that's, that's the that's the sixth degree of the G major scale. And then going back to the other one, we have uh, the seventh degree. So that when I say that the seventh degree and the sixth degree, I'll come back to why that is, but it goes just so you'll have that for reference. So when I say sixth degree or seventh degree, do you know what that's referring to? Do you remember what that's referring to? Okay, so the the seventh degree is the se it means the seventh note that's in the G major scale. So okay. if you and the sixth degree means it starts from the sixth note in the G major scale. So what is the let's see let's do this. What's the sixth note in the G major scale? It goes G A B C D E. e. So it starts from E. So if you were to play, that's that's just the way they say it. It's it's like uh, just a fancy way of saying, okay, we're going to start from the sixth note in the G major scale. What about the seventh note in the G major scale? What's the seventh note? You go up to E, and then what's the next note? Is it F sharp? That's right, because it only has one sharp. G right. only has one sharp. So we start from F sharp, and it's right there. F sharp, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, and then F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and so on. Mm -hmm. So the reason why you'd want to know that is because you're like, well, what notes can I put in there that would make it work? You know, that would make that would make this a little bit more interesting. And like when you're playing G, C, and D, we can put we can put any of those notes in there. See, all I'm doing is playing a G note, so I can play a G note and play these other notes underneath it. Look. Okay. Do you, do you understand how I just yeah. did that? Okay, I'm just, I mean, you don't have to, you know, be a, a, a theory wizard to like know, you know, and to think about which notes, you know, like and why those notes are working, but you just have to go, okay, well, what are the notes? And especially since you play a lot in the key of G, meaning G shapes where you capo it up or down, well, then it's beneficial to learn um, all those notes that are in those positions because you can add them to like a song, you know, instead of just playing G, C, D, and you can just add like a G like that, like that's adding a C note into that G. And then to C, okay, which, all of a sudden makes things like really interesting. So what I would advise you to do as a practice is to go playing all of those notes going back and forth and instead of just sitting down and trying to play a song, learning somebody else's song, just sit down and jam and play like, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to try to put G, C, and D together. And I'm going to try to add some other notes to it as I'm picking it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that makes things.